Hi everyone, we're trying out Within the Green. This is a part of the Demo Day 19. And I don't know anything about this game. I'm going to check out the game page here real quick. It says this demo is still early in development. The enemy AI is poor and the content is short, so don't get your hopes up. Any feedback, feedback is appreciated. Uh, no gameplay changes have been altered since last demo day. Okay. The newest changes are new font, redone boar sprite, controls are A and D move left and right, W is interact, J is melee attack, K is magic attack, L is dash, spacebar is jump, S and spacebar, jump down platform, escape is menu. Alright. Sounds like it would be nice to have a some control pad support, but we're going to give this a shot anyways. Um, yeah, I haven't played this game before. haven't seen anything past this screen. I'm going to go ahead and click on new game here. All right, we got some movement. Uh, just going to plug in the Xbox controller real quick just to, just to make sure. See if anything is implemented. All right, nothing at all. Worth a shot. All right, that's okay. It's always nice to see that stuff implemented. Um, it doesn't take too much time. So press W to interact. Uh, I gotta remember. Okay, this is the tutorial. Um, what? Press W for general interaction when a text prompt appears. A and D are used to move left and right respectively. Press space bar to jump. Alright, so... Camera kind of jumps back, which is a little... Not a big deal, but it's a little disorienting. Um, I think it's strange how... I can understand W to interact with what you walk up to. Like this, but continuing to press W to um, pass through the text box things is awkward to me. I uh, feel like I should press J, and if not J, then space. But apparently it's W. It's also weird to... A little strange to have to use spacebar. I guess I'll get used to it. Some uh, platformers that use the controls, uh, the keyboard controls, you just press up or W to jump, but... Alright, we can double jump. It can help you reach high places. Alright. Melee attack, press J. Pressing J in quick su succession will create a combo to cast magic, press K. Holding down K will cause the spell to become stronger. Magic e uses mana to cast, so keep that in mind. Alright. Top left, you're gonna guess that the light green, blue, light blue, I guess, is magic. All right, is he dodging? All right, it's a little confusing. It looks like your your hitbox and your attacks is a, is a bit longer, or larger than your actual the graphic. Um, it's a couple more nitpicks I'm noticing here. Your second attack. As a further reach visually, I don't know if that is the case with it with the collision behind the scenes. That would be a thing to keep in mind. The other thing is that you're kind of blending into the background here, a very light background, and your attacks are white, so that blends in quite a bit. Um, it'd be nice to be able to grab that ledge, in my opinion. I guess we don't have ledge grab in this game. To dash, press L. All right. Dashes can be used for dodging enemies or platforming, where just jumps can't cut it. Alright, okay, cool. So getting some screen tearing, you can just dash like infinitely, holy cow. It's like... <laughs> it feels like, um, you have to time it right, but it feels like on Super Metroid when you have the... The, uh, what do they call that? I don't even remember what it's called, but the thing that makes you go fast. 
read uh, platforms like these below can be traversed downwards. All right. Yeah. So interesting. So the jump animation is <laughs> not that exciting. Oh, you have inertia in the air. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's interesting choice. Oh, I didn't read that one. Pressing escape will bring the pause menu where you can quit the game. This is the end of the tutorial. Good luck. Not much has changed since the last demo. Thank you for telling me. I didn't play the last demo, so it's all changed to me. All right. Nice to have a pause menu. All right, I didn't try any. Oh yeah, this background is very, very bright. And my pasty white skin blends in and my attacks really blend in. Kind of disappointed I can't cut this stuff. All right, so the game has some inertia. Um, it's a tiny bit in your movement. Obviously there's some in your jumping as well. However, when you attack, you stop instantly. There doesn't appear to be any inertia. So it's a little odd. It helps sometimes to have a little bit of a, even like built into the attack, like a little bit of forward movement. Because you, when, you, when you're trying to combo someone, you end up feeling really kind of stuck and rooted in the ground. Uh, I don't know if there's anything you can do over here. All right. Oh, I just pressed the magic button, but it didn't do anything. <laughs> I wasn't meaning to. The door is locked. The real reason is that the insides of the shop isn't made yet. Okay, fair enough. Yep, I agree. Um, so yeah, there, there is screen tearing. I really don't like screen tearing on 2D games. It's really frustrating to look at. Um, it's probably not showing up in the capture the same way as it's on my screen, but I would absolutely recommend uh, including a V-Sync well, I would I would enable it by default, but you know, an option is nice also. All right, this guy's got some wine, I guess. A little bare bones for a a bar. Hello, this is a test. I will only stay this only stay this dialogue one time. Okay, sure. Also, you can go up to the second floor, but it's empty for the demo. I can. Looks like I hit my head. Is it? Is that a door? All right. It's not super apparent that that's actually a door there, but I did notice it. If he hadn't mentioned there was a second floor, I wouldn't have thought there was a door here at all. All right. We got a rest point. Not the mana restored. Checkpoint saved. I would just label this save instead of rest because rest kind of implies that there isn't a save involved, but there is a save involved. Uh, the door is locked. All right, another one of these. We're zooming. I like the parallax in the background. That's cool. Looks nice. Ooh, rabbit animals nearby. All right, um, I just pressed. All right, there we go. Okay, so yeah, the feedback when you hit an enemy isn't great. They just kind of get bumped a little, which is kind of weird. Um, I also noticed that there are a few times I hit, I pressed K and it didn't actually do anything. Like I just pressed it briefly. Not sure what that's about. Uh, let's see. So it does look like you have a little more reach on the second attack there. Maybe. Your first and second attack is basically identical.
your airborne attack disappears pretty fast, you could consider having it stay out for a moment longer. Could make it a little easier to hit things with. Um, but yeah, that bright background is really... Ouch, causing me problems. Whoa. This is like... <laughs> you're giving me Clarent flashbacks here. It's like the bats and Clarent. I wonder if you can... Alright, so you can jump and dash, but you can't dash more than once in the air. That's interesting. Alright. Get out of here. So yeah, since your second attack has a longer reach, it's easy to hit a dude twice, but three times... Oh, you print, You finished the demo. Three times doesn't, doesn't seem to work very good. Um, so yeah, that's another reason why <clears throat> it's helpful to have a little bit of a forward movement on your attacks. Helps you to keep combo, like actually use your combo to, to hit an, an enemy each time. Um... Oh, I'm out of magic, so that <laughs> explains that. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's not a much... Not, not, let me try that again. There's not a lot here already, but... Um, I like the, the the player character design quite a bit. That's The art is, is pretty nice overall. Some of the kind of early interior designs were a little barren, but... Um, in general, I think the art style is nice. Uh, the animations are not bad. I do think they could be better. Especially like your attack animations. Uh, the jumping animation is kind of silly. Uh, run cycle is quite good. And the dash effect is kind of neat. So as it is, I mean... Just interested to see what else is kind of planned. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's kind of the big question I have. I mean, what's here is, is okay, so it's, there's not a lot to say about it, I suppose. Um, I guess you have a little bit of a, a little bounce effect on when you do the double jump, I'm just noticing. So yeah, I mean, I, I can't help but kind of think of Clarent when I play this. It's not the same, obviously, but it feels like it's in the same genre, at least. So that's cool. I like Clarent, obviously, since I worked on it. Uh, the dashing is quite fun. Um, I guess there's no reason to consider it broken. I mean, you could speed run awful fast with it, I suppose, which isn't a bad thing at all. Um, but, uh, one thing you do have to worry about, <laughs> when I think about, like, um, in Symph Symphony of the Night, you could dash backwards faster than you could walk, and so the tendency, of course, if you play that game, there's a tendency, once you learn that, to, to start, like, dashing everywhere, which gets really exhausting, because you, <laughs> you're, you're spamming the button so constantly, and what it just the fact that it's so exhausting um, kind of makes you wish you could just run that fast, <laughs> you know? So you just wouldn't have to feel compelled to spam that in order to optimize your movement. Uh, so that's something to consider. I don't know if that's going to be the case in your game, but it could be. And yeah. Hopefully this video was useful. Let's see if this works. It does. And if you have any questions for me, just let me know. And I'll see you guys in whatever video I make next.